Hey guys, have you ever prayed and your prayers were not answered? Well, obviously that's not God's plan for your life. Today I'm going to give you five ways to ensure that your prayers will be answered. Stick around, we're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. I'm giving you truth for life. If you like our channel, appreciate the videos, I encourage you to subscribe. We have new videos coming out for you guys every single Tuesday. So today I wanna talk to you about something that is extremely important and that is this, five ways to get your prayers answered. You know, the Bible says in John chapter 15 that when we produce fruit, it brings glory to our Father in heaven. That's John 15, eight. And so when we produce fruit, when results take place, it brings glory to God which ultimately that's what he wants. Not to mention that when our prayers are answered, it's proof that Jesus is alive and that God in heaven is ruling from his throne. So number one, the first thing we need to realize is the Bible says that if any man has sin or iniquity in his heart, the Lord will not hear him. That's echoed again in the New Testament when Peter says that God, his eyes are watching over the righteous and he's listening or inclining his ears to their prayers. But the Bible says he is turning his face away from the wicked. The first thing we have to understand, obviously you have to be a Christian to have those prayers answered, but when you become a Christian, it is important to keep sin completely out of your life. Some people think it's impossible to live free from sin, but the Bible says even in the Old Testament, Psalm 84 and verse 11, that God won't hold any good things back from people who walk uprightly and righteous. Number two, we have to pray according to the will of God that's in his word. The Bible says in John 15 and verse seven, that if we remain or abide in him, that is Jesus Christ, and his words abide in us, then we can ask whatever we will and it shall be done for us. The key there you see is that his word is abiding in us. So it's not enough to just be a Christian, but we have to know the will of God through his word. And if he promised it to us in his word, then he will back it up when we pray. But we can't pray for things that are not God's will and pray for things that he never promised for our lives and expect those prayers to be answered. It has to be backed up by the word. Number three, the Bible says we have to pray in faith. You can't pray doubting or wondering if God's gonna do it, hoping that he does it. The Bible says we have to have a surety in faith, believing that what we pray, God will do. The book of James says that anybody who doesn't believe or pray like that, they're double-minded and that they are unstable in all their ways. It goes on to say something crazy. It says, don't let that person think that they will receive anything from the Lord. So the key is, praying in pure faith and not doubting in your heart. Number four, we have to pray with kingdom motives behind our prayers. Did you know that the Bible says in the book of James chapter four that people pray and ask God for things, but they don't receive them because they don't ask with pure motives. They ask to get those things from God and then consume them upon their own lusts. Or what the Bible means by that is that everything they're praying for, they're praying so that they can get it just to experience it for themselves. It's a selfish type of prayer. But the Bible says in Matthew chapter six, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. When you pray, pray with the kingdom in mind, not just yourself in mind. God doesn't mind blessing you. He wants to bless you. He loves you, but he wants people who are backing up his kingdom plan and purpose on the earth. And number five, and this might be one of the most important, if you are praying and believing God for answers to prayer, you have to be a person who forgives other people for the trespasses or the wrongdoings they've done against you in your life. Mark chapter 11 and verse 25, after Jesus has said all these powerful things about prayer and casting the mountain into the sea, and if if you believe and don't doubt in your heart, whatever you pray will be done for you. He says then in Mark eleven twenty five, 25, whenever you stand praying, forgive that your father in heaven might forgive you also. If you are harboring unforgiveness in your heart, holding uh, grudges against people, that is something that will hold your prayers back from being answered. Why? Well, anything God does, he does it by faith. And the Bible is very clear, faith works by love. If there's not love present in your life, if you're walking outside of love, God cannot release to you the blessings and the answers that you're looking for because you're not operating by faith. 
faith works by love. And so when you stand praying and asking God to do something, make sure that you've forgiven and forgotten anything that's been done against you. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching again today. I appreciate you viewing the videos. If you like them, subscribe to the channel. I have a new video coming out for you every single Tuesday. And don't forget, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next week.